Hello and welcome back to the magical adventures of Drought and Sleety. I am Drought, and this is the third episode of uh, Skyward Collapse. Uh, so, nothing at all has happened since I recorded last. Uh, it's actually only been about a minute. <laughs> so, uh, let's just get into stuff. Um, Let's check, I don't remember, I think... Uh, yeah, we needed more rocks to be able to build a new town center and... We sure as hell is going to need it soon. Uh, because this city will uh, start to get ruined. Uh, anyway, at this point in time I'm thinking I'm actually going to want to build another set of barracks, but that depends what the barracks cost it was two cut stones who was made of uh, let's see now oh god uh, it should be uh, yeah one rock three rocks is one cut stone so, um, that means we actually lose a bit of um, cut stone if we do this. Uh, I, I wouldn't worry about the lumber though. It, uh, that w that's one of the most uh, overflowing resources <laughs> further into the game. So, um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to build another barracks uh, because it's always good to have a backup plan. Uh, let's see now. We needed to get a brewery or a deer park to be able to expand further. And we can make a deer park. Not a brewery though. And I wouldn't want to waste any more stone to be honest. So... Uh, Let's make a deer park. Uh, and uh, let's see now if the town center was able to be placed out there. Yes! Uh, I think I'm actually going to put this down here this round and uh, go over to the blue team. So. Uh, we can actually build this town center and uh, the reason why I'm actually doing that right now and uh, not waiting for uh, the uh, north side to be able uh, to build uh, its own town center is because uh, uh, these town centers are um, resource gatherers I should say uh, it's always good to make a resource gathering town in the beginning of the game even if it gets ruined later uh, it's good to just get a town out there that's uh, able to gather as much resources as humanly possible uh, because uh, then you're able to make uh, everything a lot more balanced later in the game when you have an overflow of stuff to use. So uh, there's uh, no limitations of what you can do. Uh, there will still be limitations but they won't be as steep. Um, so let's make some basic stuff. Uh, start with uh, wood uh, and rocks because well as you already know that's good stuff to start with so yeah he attacked but he doesn't really do much damage against towels and stuff like that so that's always okay uh, what the hell did he get for uh, get a bonus uh, yeah, he got the same bonus as uh, the uh, Xiphos. 
Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to go for the um, ruins uh, on well, well it's both ruins so it doesn't really matter uh, although I will be in a bit of a pickle if he goes to uh, this grass ruin where uh, my Norse uh, went because I think he's going to get the same uh, power up and that will uh, that is one of the really bad power ups to get there are other more fair power ups uh, so nah, um, let's see how it's going with the town center progress it's uh, not rolling along very well. Uh, we need to get five more stones. We would probably be, probably have that the next round. So let's just uh, make some more wood cutting and some more. Uh, rock quarries either way and uh, as I said the further away the town center is the better uh, as long as you can put the town center there I say do it because well the further away it is the longer time it gets for enemy soldiers to get there seriously three rocks in a row well, anyway, so let's go over to the uh, blue side and uh, uh, the reason why I don't, why this doesn't really become unbalanced is because you, it's still you who uses these resources, uh, so it will still be balanced as long as you make it so uh, so let's do a ranch because we're going to need that sooner or later uh, and uh, hmm. I don't think we need uh, deer parks or butcheries or pig or sheep or anything like that here uh, although I don't think we have any wheat as of now I don't know how much wheat we will need but uh, we can place one wheat down and uh, then we can make another rock quarry uh, and let's end that turn Did we get more ruins? What the hell did that guy even do? I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I think they've actually updated the game before... Uh, because before you could... Uh, uh, get more than uh, one power up uh, per character. Maybe they have changed it. That would make the game a lot easier actually. So we have our ranged guy here who will probably attack this dude and uh, ignore the grass ruins, but that's okay. Yeah. We should be able to put out uh, the... No! Uh, why do we have less? Oh god, please don't tell me you went and... Yep, you used rocks. Uh, and you're going to use rocks? No, actually. Well, 
That saved us. Well, that's stupid. So we can't build the, the town square this round because uh, I forgot to count in that a shot put would uh, have to use stones to advance or be made. Uh, so I can actually make a moonstone mine right now that is needed for the mythology stuff, I think. Uh, not the mythology, but it will be used for gods and stuff like that. But there's 30 rounds and we're in round s uh, 6, uh, so it's way off. We don't have to do anything like that right now. Uh, so I'm actually running out of stuff to do on this one. Uh, I'm going to place down a let's make a diamond mine and I do not think I want to make a wheat farm here because I want to produce a lot of wheat and I don't uh, want to do that in a city that's going to be ruined. Uh, diamonds aren't used that often, that's why I can place that in this town. Um, so let's see now it like over here with the town square it can be placed all the way out there so I'm just going to place two land tiles next to each other there actually I think I'm going to undo one of the land tiles and uh, place a let's see now a mountain here Oh shit. Well, well, I can actually undo the second one too and uh, place the mountain. It seems to have updated a bit, but that's actually good. It's uh, good changes. Uh, so I'm all in favor for that. Um, so I placed the mountain there because uh, now this uh, village that I will place here, uh, I'm probably going to put out two more land fields here and here um, just to make the town central uh, in just to make so it happens to be in the middle of everything um, uh, it will also be cut off from the rest of the world except for flying creatures but um, and rock climbing creatures but that will take a while for us to come up to so it's uh, actually pretty good uh, so I'm going to end this turn here and uh, uh, sorry about that uh, we'll continue right now uh, and uh, we're on the uh, blue factions side and yeah the blue faction is getting a lot of more resources right now because we lacked a bit of stone on the other faction. So what we want to do right now is uh, basically put out more basic stuff and uh, let's see now, oh right. I may need an iron mine on this side. I don't think I actually have one. Well, apparently I do. That's interesting. Uh, so to build the diamond mine I'm going to need a melter. And that's what I'm missing, actually. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, sorry that I'm a bit confused, I need some refreshing on this game actually. 
but uh, we'll have it uh, as we go along so it's okay so I'm going to put down a melter and that should provide us uh, with the um, amount uh, of uh, the necessary amount of steel that we need uh, which is uh, good but uh, well we still need more uh, cut stone to be able to make this uh, work uh, so uh, in the absence of a diamond mine uh, I think I'm actually going to use this turn to help out the red team do not forget that you can do that it's one of the um, most important things to remember out about this game you do not have to use uh, these actions on the blue team if what you're doing is a neutral action as placing land tiles or uh, let's see now I don't think you can you you can use uh, resource drops and uh, uh, mythical uh, tokens and uh, god tokens on uh, both factions so uh, that's something good to remember but you can't use mythical <laughs> units on both factions that's faction only uh, good to remember so let's end the turn and see things play out So he's barely hurting the building and that's a good thing. And that's not a good thing. <laughs> and uh, they are clearly starting to hurt each other although I don't know what he accomplished. That was clearly not a melee attack. Uh, was it? Nope. So I have no idea why he hasn't taken any damage. No idea. Well... I guess it's a bug. Uh, hopefully they will update that soon because this is looking kind of bad suddenly. Um, uh, there was this one time when I made a, a soldier. Uh, I put out a um, token uh, before the soldier. Uh, that I thought, well, this looks like a token. It will probably help me turn things around. But I read the token a bit wrong. We, I will show it in a bit. It's not uh, in this faction. It's in the other faction. And I read a zero, one zero too little. And that made a lot of difference. Uh, So, we can... What? The hell? That can't be because of the house car. He need bacon, melee weapon, water flask. And to make a melee weapon you need iron and lumber. And you don't need stone for either iron or lumber, so I have no idea what the hell just... Why? What? Uh. Well, at least I'm as confused as I should be. I I'm still no pro at this game, but at least uh, I know some stuff about it and I think four rock quarries does not equal one rock per turn 
So I don't know if I built something and forgot about it or what the hell because this uh, this didn't cost <sighs> anyway what I'll do this turn then is just uh, filling out the bl blanks with more rock quarries uh, maybe a woodcutter and uh, Let's make it yet another rock quarry. Nope, I can't place it there. I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, let's just use the... Yeah, uh, let's just use the last uh, um, action to put out one last land tile and e uh, increase the distance even more. Now archers shouldn't be able to get there. I should have placed the mountain in the beginning of the path because uh, then uh, longbowmen, I think they are named, can't reach either. But well, we can always do that later if it comes to that. Problem is, uh, it will always. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, it will always spawn new tiles uh, over the uh, um, playing field. So sooner or later they will be able to bypass uh, this mountain and probably sooner they will be able to get into this village but uh, for now the fight is concentrated over here so it's not really that big of a risk oh anyway the uh, mythical token i was talking about is this adamantine because it gives 100 times bonus on both health and attack. That's not a small amount. And uh, it's not such a game breaker as it was uh, the last time. Because uh, let's just say tokens like these stacked then and that became really bad really fast um, because uh, I think I got uh, one guy that already had times three attack bonus to pick out uh, pick this one up which made him have times hundred health bonus and times three hundred attack bonus and uh, that resulted in uh, him basically insta killing everything except for gods and well he won against them in the end either way so there are a lot of bonuses that can screw you over in this game but I think uh, this is the most ridiculous one of them if I am honest if the game isn't really uneven and it shouldn't get that e uneven in the first place never use adamantine if you're not there for hilarity then you can use it as much as you want uh, to make uh, potter Okay, they renamed it because before it was called Pottery. Uh, anyway, we need to make uh, a Potter and a Euler. And um, because uh, Ewell's uh, Eulery is good to have. Uh, anyway, I think we can start by making a diamond mine 
because that's something we need and a clay pit because we're going to need that to make pots and a potter because otherwise we wouldn't be able to make those pots uh, you will read a lot of stuff like that is necessary for mythological units and tokens and god tokens uh, the god tokens usually don't screw you over as much as the uh, mythology mythological tokens because they are more than often uh, for both factions uh, so yeah that should end this turn and uh, yeah let's just say uh, see this ship play out and well he got screwed over and something is not right there he should really be taking damage from that there is no reason why he shouldn't be able to take damage from that and now we have enough resources to build ourselves a town so that's done and uh, one moment guys uh, I think uh, I'm actually going to have to end uh, this episode here uh, but uh, I, I think I'm actually going to end uh, Red's turn and then we'll do it so I'm going to need wood and rock it's always good to have a steady outcome of this from a Unreach unreachable village so let's end that turn uh, and uh, well I guess that's it for this time so leave a like if you liked it and uh, I guess uh, I'll be seeing you next time uh, looking forward to it See ya. Bye.